All right, let's say you have a return and you made a certain amount of money. In this case, we'll start off just using 99%. And we say, well, great, that's almost 100% that we made. But is that in one year? Is that two years? Is that 10 years? And so what we have to do is we have to figure out what is the annualized return on a cumulative return. So if we made on a cumulative basis, we had $100 and then we have $199, that's 99%. But if it's over 10 years, how would we annualize that to figure out the annualized return? And so there's a formula for this and a couple little tricks. And so the formula is you're going to take one plus the return and you're going to do to the exponent of one divided by the time and then you're going to subtract it by one. When you subtract it by one, you're going to get the decimal of the percentage return. In other words, if it's 0 0.01, well, that's 1%, right? Okay, so let's work this out. And before I do that, a couple little quick things here. So if we say, let's say 1%, and we need to figure out, you know, this portion of that one plus the return. So if it's 1%, it's going to be 1.01. .01. But this gets a little tricky for some people. And so I'll just illustrate it. Let's say at 1%, it would be 1 plus 0.01. And the, that equals 1.01 .01 is what you would put in that figure. If it's 10%, it would be 1 plus 0.10 equals 1.10. If it's 100%, that's going to equal 1, whoops, 1 plus 1.00 equals 2.00. And then let's say it's a thousand percent. And these are positives. It's going to be 1. Plus 10. 11.00. Okay, so it just gets a little tricky if you've got um, what you put in this little portion. And hopefully this helps you out. Now, let's say that you had a negative return. So negative 1% would actually be 1 minus 0.01. I guess it's technically 1 plus a minus, which is 1 minus that. And that would equal 0.99. Minus 10% would be 1 minus 0.10. And let's say if you lost 25%, 1 minus 0.25 equals 0.75. Okay. So let's first start off with a, a positive example. We're making 99% over 10 years. And if you remember the rule of 72, this should roughly be around, you know, 7.2% or so, a little over 7% because you've doubled your money. Remember the old rule is 72 divided by your annualized return um, is what you, you essentially would need to double your money. So let's see. The first thing we do is we take 1 plus, and what's our return? It's 0.99. So the exponent of 1 over 10, because that's the number of years, right? Minus 1. And then the next one, we say 1.99 to the exponent of 0.10, right? Because 1 divided by 10 is going to be the decimal of 0.10 minus 1. And so when we get this number, uh, we do this 1.99 to the exponent of 0.10. What we're going to get is 1.0712 minus 1 
equals, we'll say this is 0 0.0712, or that's a decimal, so the fraction would be 7.12%, and that's a positive. Uh, that's 7.12% annualized return. All right, great. So we figured that out, and that sort of aligns with, uh, you know, we weren't quite 100% over 10 years, but we know the rule is 72, it should be close. So this is a good one if you're not sure if you're doing it right. You know, choose a time frame and choose a return where you kind of know what the annualized return should be. All right, so let's do a negative one real quick. And let's say that we lost 25% over two years. So we're going to say minus 25% over two years. Okay, so how would we do this? Well, the first thing is we're going to take 1 minus 0.25 to the exponent of 1 over 2 minus 1. So here we wind up with 0.75 to the exponent of 0.50 because 1 divided by 2, right? Minus 1, and we should get 0 0.8666 minus 1. And remember, this is a negative return. If you're subtracting by 1, it's going to be a negative number. So that equals negative 0 0.1. Uh, three three nine seven or a minus thirteen point four percent if we round it down so our annualized return in this case is negative thirteen point four percent now you might be like hey wait, wait a second we lost twenty five percent cumulatively um, how can it be more than you know why isn't it just negative twelve and a half percent negative twelve and a half percent well remember for the same reason why we didn't need ten percent a year to get a hundred percent over ten years because you have compounding Compounding also works in the reverse way. So if you annualize it and you say, well, we lost negative 13.4% in year one, our balance was less, and so we lost 13.4% on 13.4% less capital in the second year. And so this is how you would do, if you wanted to annualize a cumulative return and you have a certain percentage and you want to do it over a certain number of years, it's just going to be 1 plus the return to the exponent. Here, we'll go back up here. So it's just in brackets. One, and remember, if you're doing this in Excel, there's no brackets in Excel. You just use an, you know, extra parentheses. But it's 1 plus the return to the exponent of 1 divided by time, or 1 divided by the number of years, minus 1. And on the negative side, the trick is how you do that decimal. And so it's actually, you know, one plus a negative. We'll just call it one minus whatever the, the negative return is. And then you get those numbers as well. So the trick here is knowing what to put in, you know, your box here and your box here. That's really the trick. And as long as you can do the simple math of, you know, the one over the years. Um, by the way, if you're doing this, remember the, the exponent. Um, let's do this one here. This exponent sign, when we do that on your iPhone or on a, a simple calculator, that's the X of Y button, okay? And so if you were actually doing this uh, with a calculator, and sometimes they have uh, a 1 over X button, you could do, um, let's for, say for example, 1.99 to the X of Y and then you could actually put in your number and then hit this button. All right, but that's a little bit too much. But anyway, you should just know this exponent, that's equal to your X of Y button. And if you have an iPhone or a simple calculator with an X of Y function, you can do that on there. All righty.